What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we gotta check out the explosive Roman Reigns versus Logan Paul press conference highlights, man. I I I had to check this out. Somebody had sent it to me uh, in the comment section saying I needed to check this out. So I'm down to see what was said right before their match at this year's crown jewel um i'm looking forward to seeing how they play this out ultimately we know roman will win the match but i want to see what logan can do and how they how they're going to set this match up can he pull out another great match this time with the tribal chief tribal chief and in the main event of a ple man so Let's get right into this one, man. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. And let's see what's said at this uh, this final press conference. 800-day reign as the undisputed champion here in WWE. Mm. Welcome back to the WWE Crown Jewel press conference. Glad you could join us here as part of Riyadh season. Thank you, everybody, again from the WWE Universe for being in attendance here tonight. Very interesting Ladies to see how this play out. this man has been... Well, nothing short of perfect for the past two plus years here in WWE. This is true. I would like to welcome the man. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I love, I love Michael Cole's expression. He's like, fuck. <laughs> I love Michael Cole's expression. Ladies and gentlemen, my name. <laughs> You're not going to let me say it? All right. N none of you are named that. <laughs> but my name <laughs> is Paul, Paul Heyman. Hey, See, you did it again. <laughs> All right. This one you can't duplicate. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning. Defending, defending undisputed, undisputed WWE, WWE Universal, Universal Heavyweight Champion, Champion of the World, the <laughs> Roman Reigns. The epic final boss music. The one that you have to beat to beat the game. He has three power level bars. His special meter is all the way at max. Easy. It looked like he came out there by himself this time. No, no, no bloodline. It's just him and Paul. Put the ones up. Put the ones up. The tribal chief chant. Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. You hear the Usi chants. You hear the Usi chants. Acknowledge me. <laughs> you hear the Usi chants. Shock the world tomorrow night. Please welcome social media superstar. <laughs> Can we? Yo, I'm, I got to zoom in on Roman Reigns' face. Looking at Michael Cole saying, shock the world. This he said, he, just his facial expression, just like, what? Shock the world? What are you talking about, Michael Cole? Look at his facial expression. Oh, that's great. Oh, man. That is fantastic. This Look at that. boxer and professional wrestler, Logan Paul. Is, did this sneaker ride in on a camel button? This motherfucker rolled in on a camel button. He rolled in on a damn camel. A camel, bro. So first I'd like to start with uh, the champion Roman Reigns. And Roman, I'd like to get your remarks on tomorrow night because there's been a lot of whispers going around. 
about whether or not Logan Paul can do the unthinkable and then <laughs> shock the world <laughs> by ending your streak tomorrow I night just, at Crown Jewel. No. What? <laughs> His face. What? No. I got no clue what you just said, Cole. <laughs> Uzi. <laughs> Uzi. I tell you right now, Michael Cole ain't feeling Uzi. <laughs> yeah. And Logan Paul ain't going to be feeling Uzi tomorrow either. <laughs> I can tell you right now, Michael Cole ain't feeling Uzi. I love it. If WWE does not, and I mean this, if they do not make some shirts, Talking about being Usy, bro, they have dropped the ball. That is a money cash cow. Hop on it, WWE. Please do, because y'all are going to miss out on some money if you don't. So this is what we're going to do right now. I'm going to give you the opportunity to thank me now. Hehehehe. <laughs> I think it's you that needs to thank me, Roman. <laughs> Your boy just made you relevant in the Middle East. Let's hear it for Saudi Arabia, baby! <laughs> uh, let's, let's chill out real quick. I've been entertaining Saudi Arabia while you were making those terrible little YouTube vlogs. Okay? <laughs> Oh, he's like, chill out, bro. I've been doing this, sir. I'm going to give you one more opportunity to thank me right now because I'm going to teach you something, some invaluable lessons you're going to learn tomorrow. So go ahead and take this opportunity to acknowledge and thank your tribal chief. Love it. Love it, man. Here is your validation, Roman Reigns. The validation you need so badly. The validation, that's why you say acknowledge me every time, everywhere you go, we've heard it. Thank you, Tribal Chief. Thank you. Carl really hyping up Logan here, bro, which is pretty crazy. I like, I this. The man can't talk when he doesn't have Paul Heyman speaking for him. So <laughs> I'll take it from here. Ahlin and Ahem come Saudi. Oh my God, what a dream come true. Beautiful country, beautiful people, beautiful faces. I am so humbled that the WWE has chosen me to dethrone Roman Reigns in my third professional wrestling match. It's definitely not happening, but all right. Prime's coming to Saudi Arabia, don't worry. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> the, bro, the cost 10, we want Prime, we want Prime. Bro, dude is a marketing genius, bro. Every time he comes out there with Prime, people want to, like I've been hearing it's been getting, it's been selling out in like local supermarkets and stuff, like bro. He, 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 you can't, you may not like the Paul brothers, but the one thing you can't say is they don't bring in the money, bro. They bring in the revenue. People know who they are, whether it's good or bad, they bring in money. I see why WWE put this match on. I know why WWE made this match. Do I agree with it? Not so much, but I get it. It's the Saudi show. They're trying to bring some buzz to the match. I get why they did it. Honestly, guys, when I look out in the crowd, I, I am so inspired. I am so inspired. And my true goal with all this is to inspire people all around the world to do whatever they want. You got to understand, I'm a kid from Ohio. I am a kid from Ohio in the Middle East, entertaining fans across the globe. I mean, that is, you can't. I like the KSI chant. Let's go. <laughs> That's cool, Look, look, bro. look, y'all. That is so cool to see. You saw this. me beat the Mysterios at WrestleMania. Boo. You saw <laughs> me beat the Miz at SummerSlam. 
<laughs> and tomorrow you're gonna see me beat Roman Reigns at Crown Jewel. It's... When an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. I gotta give it to you, Roman. You've done good. You've done really good. <laughs> Roman, but all like... good things must come to an end. Roman's like, bro, what the and fuck? And all it takes is one lucky punch. <laughs> Which you may have seen me hit your cousin with less than two weeks ago. Bro, he's, he's just... I've never seen a man drop so quickly in my life, Jay Uso. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> he's Not having a chin must run in the family. But watch out, Roman Reigns, because I'm coming for that one lucky punch. And yes, I will acknowledge you. You are great. You are the tribal chief. You are the face of the WWE for now. But as smart as you are, and as great as you are, I think there's one thing that you forgot about me. What's that? What's that? The tribal chief ain't the only one with a bloodline. And with that being said, Logan, I think you've learned your lesson over the past couple of weeks about going it alone against the bloodline. Oh. Uh, um, from what I understand, what? Uh, you may have a little bit of backup Jake? here in Saudi Arabia. Wow. Backup is an understatement. Wow. I brought with me a man who has the power of God in his right hand. I brought with me a man who represents the power of an entire army. Ladies and gentlemen, wow, my brother, they... the undefeated professional boxer, 6-0 knockout artist, Jake Paul. Wow. You hear the booze. He brought out Jake with him. How are you feeling, JP? Masalam alaikum, Saudi Arabia. Let's go. My brother's about to get this. Oh, I can't believe this is... We are, what bizarro world are we in where we have the Paul brothers in the mix with the the WWE champion in the bloodline? What what universe are we in right now? What is happening? It's W tomorrow. Inshallah. Inshallah, my brother will do the unthinkable and beat Roman Reigns. Just like they said I wouldn't beat Anderson Silva. And guess what, Paul Heyman? You said it first. Remember when you lied to the WWE fans and said that Anderson would knock me out? Mm. Well, guess what, buddy? I exterminated the I exterminated the spider, and that's what my brother's gonna do tomorrow against Roman Reigns. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna see what Paul has to say. I'm gonna see what Paul has to say here. Nice surprise. Congratulations. Just to smarten the two of you up, since obviously no one did that for the two of you as children, the tribal <laughs> chief could smash the two of you right here, right now, do it, do it, on this day. We're businessmen, which means he'll do it tomorrow <laughs> when he gets paid to do it. <laughs> Just in the interest of a nice little photo op, ladies and gentlemen and Paul brothers alike, the tribal chief gives you the bloodline. Oh, they there. The twin sisters. The twin sisters. You pony tail. Where's Sammy at, man? Where's Sammy? We need Sammy, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I use. Let's welcome these folks to the Uso Penitentiary. Where's Sammy at? We need Sammy. Oh, see. Oh, see. <laughs> Where's Sammy at, man? That's all we need. Bro, Roman hadn't said a single word. 
He's about to beat the brakes out of him, bro. We want Sammy, man. We want Sammy. Where he at? We want Sammy. <laughs> we want Sammy. We want Sammy. <laughs> Sammy is he is so over right now. I'm so happy. They have they have something that is very rare. I haven't felt this way about a wrestler since Daniel Bryan. It's organic. It's happening on its own. It's not being forced. People all around the world want to see Sami Zayn. He is, without a doubt, the most over person in the bloodline. And he's on his way, in my opinion, to being probably one of the most over people in WWE. Sammy is not even in this match, and they're chanting, we want Sammy. We want Sammy, bro. After how you've acted tonight, you don't deserve Sammy. Oh! No! No! <laughs> that nigga don't care! After you acted tonight, you guys don't deserve Sammy. Oh man. In his corner will try to pull the biggest Oh man, that was that was a good one, man. That was good. I enjoyed that. The fact that Sammy got a we want a Sammy chant and it was loud and thunders. They want to see Sammy, bro. <laughs> I love Roman still staying the character. After how y'all acted tonight. Nah, y'all don't deserve Sammy, man. This was great. I can't wait to see the match. I know uh Roman's going to hand out the beats very uh efficiently i just want to see does jake get involved obviously the bloodline will probably get involved and i want to see how things pan out i think uh logan's gonna surprise us once again because once again this is this is not the miz not to take anything away from the miz you're in the main event roman so you, you know you gotta bring it i want to see what type of match what story they tell and you know will they set it up where they tease maybe uh, Logan getting the job done. They'll probably tease it. I just don't think it's going to happen. I don't see it happening. I hope it doesn't happen. But yeah, comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy this, this final press conference? Does it make you look forward to the match even more? Or you just really don't care and you're ready uh, for them to be done with the, this crown jewel uh, PLE? But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 100K. Appreciate y'all keeping with me. See y'all next one. Peace.